Yeah. Uh, can right. you tell us uh, about um, what are the measures uh, and the challenges you had, uh, you know, once lockdown was announced? How did you keep supplying? Yours is a product that people expect to receive every day at home, uh, milk in the morning. So what did you do? When the lockdown was announced, you know, in the first couple of days, it was uh, very tricky in the sense that there was a lot of chaos and few of the things uh, that we did that really helped us was we uh, went overboard communicating with everybody, all stakeholders involved throughout the value chain, whether it is at the farmer level or whether it's at the production level or whether it's the last mile delivery level. Being a full stack business, being in full control of your supply chain helped us a lot. There were uh, issues where our vehicles got stopped. There were issues where delivery boys could not go and deliver milk to the household. But the key thing was uh, go very micro, go very hyper local in your approach to solving problems. We had roughly 35 distribution centers. We went ahead and touch based with every local SHO. So we went very, very local in solving our problems. When there were issues with delivery boys, we personally spoke to them. Uh, and, you know, the whole organization also came together. Because, you know, as a business, we are very consumer oriented and we were, uh, the DNA was wired never to miss a delivery. So uh, we went, uh, the whole organization came together, I think the first three days, pretty much everyone in the company, maybe like 3,500, 4,000 people worked nearly 16, 17 hours to make things happen. 